Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today is a very special day because we are continuing mystical motherhood. I told you guys that, that if any more cults came out in The Sims 4 that we would continue our mystical motherhood series. So here we are and I'm very, very excited. I honestly didn't think we were going to get any more. Uh, I thought The Sims 5 was going to come out before then, but I guess not. A girl can dream, right? So since Brenna and Patchy got married in the mystical motherhood like series finale, um, I decided if, we, if there was going to be more occults that we would have Brenna and Patchy have another daughter and then we would use that daughter con to continue the mystical motherhood legacy. So yeah, we're going to start in Cass. We're going to give them a daughter. We're going to age her up, give her a little makeover, and then we're going to head to Moonwood Mill and uh, choose a werewolf to have a baby with. And then we're just going to explore all of the things that come with werewolf babies and if the baby is even going to be a werewolf. With Mystical Motherhood, we've been doing it in a way where we have one human sim and then an occult partner just to see like how the babies come out if it's like half human, half occult. It's been really interesting to see and experiment with and uh, just to see what traits they have and all that good stuff. It's been it's been really fun. If you guys are interested, if this is your first Mystical Motherhood video that you've seen, I have a bunch more on my channel. We experiment with all the occults in the game. Some of them uh, you may not know exist. <laughs> but yeah, I'm very excited. I do have a Celsius today, guys. Tropical vibe. I haven't had this flavor in a hot minute, so I'm very excited to to down this today. I'm tired. I'm getting over a cold as you can probably hear. I would have uploaded this video a long time ago, but I lost my voice like right when werewolves came out and I was like, great, perfect timing. Now I can't make a video. <laughs> but uh, today is the first day that my voice has been like semi-normal. So, all right, let's crack this open and get into having some werewolf babies, shall we? Oh man, that was a really good one. Okay, tropical vibe. I see you. Cheers to you. Cheers to this video. I'm so excited to play some Sims today. I hope that you guys enjoy. I love you so much. Let's get into it. Out of all the Celsiuses, that's definitely like the most tame one. I don't want to say it's flavorless because it does have a little bit of flavor, but it's like not powerful at all. So if you're into that kind of thing, I recommend that flavor. <laughs> okay guys, here we are in Cass with Brenna and Patchy. I'm so excited to see what their daughter is going to look like and I'm crossing my fingers for a smooth gameplay today. Please don't crash. Sims, please don't crash. If you don't watch my Legacy series, you don't know that my last video I did all this grinding and then my game crashed and nothing saved. So that's fun. Hopefully it doesn't happen again. Okay, so first things first. Oh, if you've never seen Brenna, this is our lovely matriarch. She has had many an occult baby in her time. Love her so much. Uh, we decided to start with patchy babies in our Mystical Motherhood series. And so we thought it was only right that they ended up together in the end. So we had this huge occult wedding on the series finale with this like beautiful occult venue. It was really cool. If you, if you haven't seen it, highly recommend, very fun. Also, if you're interested in trying this challenge yourself, I do have some written rules and I'll link it in the description if you'd like to check it out and do it on your own. Kind of hard to do without mods and CC, but if you're into that kind of thing, this challenge is for you. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and play with genetics. Let's uh, randomize them adult. Huh? We're going to randomize three times and then age them up into a uh, young adult. So one, two, three. Okay, boom. So we have this little cutie right here. Ignore the weird makeup. <laughs> I have a lot of funky CC in my game and it it uh, it appears at random times. So, all right, let's go ahead. Age her up to a young adult and see what we, got, what we got going on. All right, ready? One, two, three. Okay, as I, as I just said, a lot of funky CC, but uh, she's looking pretty cute from what I can tell. <laughs> she's got so much on. Oh my God, okay. I'm just going to take it all off. Get out of here, get out of here. Oh, also my game is doing this weird thing where the feet are not showing up, so that's fun. Other than that though, oh, she's pretty. Um, my game is doing this weird thing where uh, the feet are gone, but it's running so very smoothly. 
probably because I took out every single script mod that I have except for MC Command Center and UI Cheats. I cannot live without those mods. So those are the only two that I have and voila, my game is running beautifully. <laughs> I used to have a bunch more, like I was a big uh, script mod fan and my game definitely ran very, uh, very slow, very laggy, but you know, I've been playing without them and I, it seems as though I can live without them. If I need like a certain one for like a let's play or something like that, I may like add it in there, but I'm not gonna have all of them in there at once like I used to. Uh, it's just very frustrating trying to film a video um, and your game is just super laggy. It just takes so much time. Okay, let's do these. Um, so let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just going to dress her pretty normal. I'm not gonna give her a uh, an occult makeover or anything like that. I'm trying to think of what werewolf we should we should have a baby with because I have two two werewolves in mind because I played a little bit of this pack already. Um, either Lou, because he's so, so, so cute. His werewolf form is adorable. Or if we want to give ourselves a little bit of a challenge, Greg. <sighs> Greg is like the forbidden werewolf that lives in the middle of nowhere and like is like feral all the time. <laughs> I'm gonna go with Butterish. This skin detail right here, mwah, my favorite. So freaking good. It's called Butterish. Oh my god, she looks really good with Max's match hair, guys. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Whatever will we do? <laughs> oh, she also looks good with alpha hair. See, it just, it really just depends on the sim. I have this idea of her in my head as like a little grungy girl wanting to have a baby with a werewolf. <laughs> So maybe a mullet would be sick. I need to download more mullets. I'm like, they're growing on me. They're growing on me very hard. Like to the point where I want one. <laughs> or even a wolf, a wolf cut would be sick. I think I'm gonna do this hair. It's like two braids and she has them just like tucked to the side. <laughs> really pretty. I'm all, of course, gonna give her my favorite freckles and blush. I don't know, UP, UBP Freckle Blush number two. I don't know, I just, I use this on pretty much every, every one of my sins. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful and perfect and I love it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at the fuzzy sweater. How appropriate. How appropriate for a wolfy pack. Definitely gonna give her the boots from the pack because they are flawless. The best shoes in the game. Oh man, they're just so freaking good. Look at those. Oh, perfection. I actually really like these pants too. Okay, wait, I like those pants too, but now I want to change the color of the sweater. Oh, Ooh. I almost choked. Okay, I'm finally finished. I'll show you her outfits. Here's her every day. I didn't give her a formal wear because I didn't think she needed one. Here's her athletic. Here's her uh -huh. sleep. Here is her swim. Here's her hot weather. Isn't this cute? <laughs> I love this. And cold weather. I, um, yeah, I really like her. Um, as far as the aspiration goes, I'm just gonna give her the family one. Um, let's do big happy family. And then there's no new trades with the pack, which makes me sad. I'm gonna randomize her trades and see what she gets. Hmm. Bad manners, family oriented, and bookworm. I'm gonna get rid of bad manners because I'm not trying to make this hard on ourselves. <laughs> let's do self assured. All right. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. She is all done. Oh, we need to give her a name. Holy moly, and her pronouns. Okay, well, it's Brenna and Patchy's daughter. So probably something a little patchy themed, I guess. Maybe like a plant or a flower. Cilantro, parsley, huh. paisley. Paisley's kind of cute. It's like that little like florally pattern. All right, let's call her Paisley. Okay, Paisley, are you ready for Motherhood, mystical mother. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to separate her from the household and we're gonna move her into Moonwood. Let's just give her 50K. Oh yeah, I placed this lot, Prowler's Patch. This was a lot built by Lola Spark on the gallery. It's called Prowler's Patch. I thought it was a pretty cool lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and move her into there. 
Let me turn on free real estate. See, my game is running so smoothly. It's so satisfying. Knock on wood. Knock on plywood. All right, loves. Here we are. Here is a little oh. overview of the law. It's very, very, very cute. Big fan. Love the graffiti walls. Pretty cool. It's like, it's like a family home, but at the same time, uh, it's pretty like grungy, like, like, like the pack. Hi, you're beautiful. Okay, so do we want to do Greg or Lou? Ah, uh, man, do we want to do Greg or Lou? I should have asked you guys. Hmm. Oh, the new telescope. <sighs> kind of wanna, kind of wanna observe the sky. I'm a little scared she's gonna die though. Because there is a new death at this pack. It's called mm, Death by Meteor. Oh, okay, you're done. You're done. I'm too scared. I'm scared you're gonna die. Um, let's see if there's anyone wandering around that we can say hi to. We're definitely not gonna see Greg because I don't think he ever leaves us a lot. There's Lou! I guess it's meant to be. Come on, Bebs. Let's go introduce ourselves to this. Little cutie, I, I don't even, I haven't even seen his uh, sim form to be honest. I just think his werewolf form is really cute and I like his uh, his outfit and everything. His little nose, really adorable. Just get to know him a little bit. Let's get that relationship up. If you guys have uh, asked about werewolf pack. Ha! I was just about to ask you guys about the werewolf pack. Oh, he's an art lover. Let's ask him about his favorite color. If you guys have played this pack, let me know what you think. No, you can't, you don't, you can't leave. Um, but yeah, I really, really, really like it. I find it very, very, very entertaining. Yeah, I think they did a good job. They say that during a new first quarter, full or third quarter, you'll become better at fishing. No way. That's cool, I didn't know that. Okay, I can hang out for a bit. Okay, fantastic. Where are you going then? <coughs> I also find that a ton of occults hang out in Moonwood Mill all the time. Mermaids, spellcasters, vampires, you name it, they're always here. They hugged on their own, how cute! I think he likes us. Wasusa! He likes alternative S-pop and Christmas music. Well, aren't you the cutest little thing? I'm really excited to like have a kid with him and then go into uh, create a sim and see what he looks like in his sim form. Hey, why are you keep leaving us? Please stop. Let's, let's try flirting with him and see if he'll take it. Please take it. Oh, he likes us. He likes us. He likes us. Let's kiss his furry hands. Oop, I got hair in my mouth. Imagine. Oh my god. He's giving us a rose. Oh. Oh, he's cute. He's cute. We can already kiss him. Let's freaking go. Kiss, kiss. Werewolf kiss. I don't, I haven't seen this yet. Oh my goodness gracious me. <laughs> Honestly, really funny. Um, very awkward encounter. Why? Because this guy's here? Well, go away, dude. Oh, he's romantic. We can already try for baby. Are you kidding? Where are you going to do that? But go away, Rangi. Oh my god, they're going. Where are they doing it? Oh, we're at our house. Oh, he was running to our house. Okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, this was really fast. No! No, no, no! 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 He's leaving. Why are you leaving? I wanted to try for... Okay, he's back. Try for baby. Try for baby. Go, go, go before he tries to leave again. He's like, I know what you're trying to do. <gasps> Look at this item! Oh, that is so cute. Oh my God, that's freaking adorable. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> let's go. Baby time. Oh yeah. All right, let's see if there's any like interesting woohoo sounds. This feels very intrusive. No fireworks. 
Oh, well that's disappointing. That's really disappointing. All right, let's take a pregnancy test. See if our girl's pregnant, see how fertile she is. Hello? Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> well, are you happy? Yeah, he's happy. Oh, I love that for us. I wish there was more um, things that you could do. Oh, things that you could do um, because he's a werewolf, you know? Like, I wish there was more uh, dialogue options or like, like actions, things like that. All right, so in Mystical Motherhood Spirit, we are going to speed things along and throw her into labor and also have her have one, also have her have twins, um, one little boy and one little girl. All right, let me grab some bassinets. Let's have her have this child and see what they are. Oh, this room is empty, perfect. This would be perfect for a uh, little, uh, little toddler room. Actually, I'm gonna have her have the babies at the hospital because I wanna see if there's a special birth certificate and uh, I want to see what bassinets they uh, automatically give you. Okay, werewolf names. <laughs> I feel like it's so basic, but of course, like, the boy has to be Jacob. And the girl, we did Lupe in the first video, which means Valley of the Wolf. I really like that. It's really pretty. Um, what about Otsana? That means she wolf. There's also Tala, which is red wolf. All right, let's do Tala. Tala, Ayala. Tala Ayala. That's kind of a mouthful, but it's fine. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where are the birth certificates at? Why didn't we get any birth certificates? Did we actually have to go to the hospital? I thought even if you just. Oh my god, whatever. It's fine. Okay, no special bassinets, which is fine. It's all good. Unless they're just not showing up because I have a bassinet override. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is one. There's one for vampires and one for spellcasters, but not one for werewolves. Interesting. I wonder why not. Yes, I hear you. All right, let's age them up right away. I saw somewhere that- Ew, spider. <laughs> um, I saw somewhere that the babies- howl when they cry? I'm not hearing any howling, though. <clears throat> Alright, Jacob Fussy. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You should get going now. What do you mean? It's your child's birthday. Two fussy toddlers? What did we do to deserve this? Huh? Aw, look at you, you little cutie. Hi, baby. Hi. Uh... Aw. Wow, they both have like such big, beautiful brown eyes. All right, now next order of business. Before I give them a makeover, I'm gonna I'm gonna make them a little a little toddler bedroom with all the stuff from the pack. It looks like we have a couple of new like full size beds. Oh my God, there's toddler bed. There's a toddler bed. It looks like just like that one CC toddler bed that I have. Oh, that's a cute swatch. Look at this tire seat. That's pretty sick. I haven't looked at any of the build and buy stuff yet. I was waiting until I filmed this video. Oh, that is that is so Harry Potter. Oh my God, look at this desk with the book underneath. Oh my God, that's so cute. We have a new bush. A, new, a party bush. Oh man, that's amazing. Couple new chairs. This uh, like patchwork looking couch. Do we have a log bench? That's pretty dope. Look at the one with the, the purple warts on it. The purple mushrooms, I mean. <laughs> I love that. We've got some workout equipment. Oh, okay, there's the bar. Got a couple bars, actually. Got a new, oh, a tunnel entrance? I thought this was a bathroom. New planter, a uh, junk-filled bonfire, a plant drawer. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look at this plant. I'm obsessed with that. Ooh, werewolf scratches for the wall. <gasps> Look at this moon! Oh man, that's definitely going on the wall above the bed. That's so adorable. I wish it would like light up. Oh man, that would be really cute. And we got some like wolfy posters. 
really cool. Oh, we got a lot of new wall stuff. Oh, I just realized the moon sticker's over here too. <laughs> Does it have new swatches? Oh, okay. Oh, how cute. <gasps> oh, wow. Really adorable. And we have this like moon mirror like shelf thing, which is really cute. These uh, drapes. Yeah, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of those. Wait, what's this? There, there is a new bassinet. It's just not listed as bassinet. Oh my god, how cute. That's really adorable. I love how it's lined with fur. And there's swatches. I'm dead. I should have just had her have the babies here so we could see the baby in there. Oh. <gasps> So cute. Oh, there's actually a lot of new, uh, like cute new kid stuff. Oh my gosh, look at this lamp. I wish there was a new, um, a new werewolf, um, <laughs> I can't talk. I cannot speak. A new werewolf, um, holy moly, talk about a brain fart. A new werewolf dollhouse. I think that would be super adorable. Have you guys checked out the the camping, the kids camping pack yet? I have it downloaded, but I haven't like looked at anything yet. I think we should do we should do a build. We should do a build video. Oh my god, look at the Bigfoot! Oh man, we gotta get them a Bigfoot, you know? It's only right. Oh, I'm gonna put these little cushions like over here by the dollhouse. These cushions are really cute. Very good addition. Cause look at that, that's adorable. This end table from Jungle Adventure goes so well with everything else in this pack too. Big fan. All right, y'all. Now, what we're gonna do is head into cast and we're gonna have a look at all the toddler stuff that came with the pack cause I haven't seen it yet. And then we'll get into some gameplay and see if there's any fun things that toddlers can do. I know that they can howl. Other than that, though, I'm not really sure. I don't even know if these kids are werewolves yet. We're not gonna know until they age up. I also need to add Lou to our family. Unfortunately, there's no new hair that comes for toddlers in this pack, which is a big bummer, but I guess I'm not surprised. We can do this hair. It's a little wolfy. It doesn't matter. I'm just gonna put them in the, the werewolf onesie that came with the pack because it's so freaking cute. There's no pants, there's no shirt, there is only two full body outfits. We have this like furry overall looking thing. It's got some pretty cute swatches, I will not lie. I'm a fan of this. And then we have the infamous werewolf onesie which is so undeniably cute. I am obsessed with it. The swatches are so nice. Like this like this cosmic looking one and then this like cotton candy one. It just looks so fuzzy. So fuzzy and so cute. I think I'm gonna give Jacob the brown one. Okay, and then for this little baby here, they they very much look similar. Um their eyes are very far apart, so I'm thinking maybe um Lou's eyes are pretty far apart. I'm curious. All right, here is our little <laughs> She's so cute. I love this hair so much. It's just very toddler um, I also want to give her this onesie. I just feel like it's too cute not to use I don't really have any werewolf CC um, There isn't much yet because the pack just came out. But I really, I'm really glad they, they included this onesie in the pack though, it's really freaking cute and I have a feeling I'm gonna use it a lot. So let's go ahead and get into some gameplay then and see what these little tods can do. I wish I knew if they were werewolves like right off the bat cause otherwise we're just gonna be wasting our time with them, you know? But it's also interesting to see the chances of them being a werewolf with a human mom and a werewolf dad. I'm gonna call Lou over here and add him to our family. I was thinking like for the actual challenge, what uh, what skills we should do to uh, for the for the challenge. Um, there are not new skills that came with the pack, unfortunately. If there was, 
we definitely be doing those. Hey, Lou, Nobody. join the house. Hello. Join the house. What do you think? We have babies now. Come help me raise them. The Thank you, yeah. Okay. All right, sir. Welcome, Welcome to the family. Mom. <laughs> oh, crap. Him and Greg have a... Oh, my God. Look at Greg's... I haven't seen Greg like this yet. That's funny. All right, let's see what Werewolf Dad can do with these babies. Is there any fun interactions? There isn't. What's up with that? Red beastly rumors. Oh, guys. They're so cute. Even though they're fussy and keep crying and throwing fits. Oh my gosh. Oh! Cute! They're straight up having a full-blown conversation right now. I did max all their skills so their communication is up, but... That's so funny. So uh, there isn't really anything that they can do, which is kind of bumming me out. Also, these uh, cushions aren't functional to them. They're not functional to adults either. I really wish he could like teach them werewolf stuff, but it's not showing up. There's like no new interactions at all yet. I'm thinking since none, of, since the toddlers don't have any like options for anything, I don't think either of them are werewolves, which is kind of a bummer um oh you little butthole you little butthole i just aged them up in cast and neither of them are werewolves oh my goodness oh and lou he's out of his he's out of his form oh my god he's so cute oh the nose oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god he's adorable you guys art lover romantic and klepto that's crazy that's crazy. We're gonna have to have more babies because those toddlers are not werewolves. Oh my god. Okay. I wonder if the if the occult cheat will work for toddlers. Traits dot equip underscore trait space trait underscore occult werewolf. Okay. They are werewolves now. <laughs> if you want to quickly turn a sim into a werewolf, that's how you do it. So let's go ahead and get Lou up and see. Say goodnight to the moon. That's new. That's a new interaction. Uh, what else is there? Okay, practice howling. Okay, so there is a there there is a werewolf menu with your toddler. He's in a row. If they are a werewolf, does this mean that you're putting him to bed? Okay, yeah. Is it like a special interaction, I wonder? Okay. Okay, he's just putting him to bed. Tucking him in. Oh, that's really cute. Let's go ahead and practice howling with uh, Tala here. I am dying to see this. Apparently practicing howling increases their communication, which is really adorable. Oh, you got fleas or what? Oh. 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 Oh, man, that's cute. I also saw something where toddlers can play with chew toys. Is this a chew toy? Viciously play. Okay, I am very interested in this. <laughs> oh my goodness, she's so vicious. She's so vicious. All right, I also saw... <laughs> there's a lot of things that I saw on Twitter that um, I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and fill up Loose Fury. I'm gonna have him get real, real furious right now. Because I think the toddlers can calm them down. Hug Fluffy Puppy. 
Oh my god. Hello. So. I don't know what that did, but, um. They are the only. The only thing in The Sims that can interact with a, with a werewolf that's like raging. Can you do anything to a toddler? No, you can't. Are you scared at all? Fluffy but she's playful from that? Wait, she got a mood lit. Wait, 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 stop smashing stuff. Go here savagely real quick. I really wanna see what that, oh, here we go. From being near a rampaging werewolf, I wanna hug it. That's quite funny, that is quite funny. Can you do something to to the sim that you love? Snar you can snarl at her. I wonder what that's gonna do. Okay, she didn't like it. And she's scared of him. I guess being in love doesn't doesn't change anything. Wait, we can woohoo while he's rampaging? What's this? Frisky? Something has awoken within this sim. Frisky werewolves can sometimes get a little hot under the collar with their when their beast within is looking for some company. Furry gains increase while feeling flirty. Fury gains increase. Oh no. I'm curious too. Um, like what two werewolves will be like in love? So I'm gonna give her the werewolf trait as well. I can take it off later, but I'm like, I'm very curious. What is this? Carnivore, this sim has always had an appreciation for food. Unfortunately, this has a different meaning for werewolves. This sim must adhere to a very strict diet of fresh meat. Very fresh meat. Oh my lord. I want this ability to um, to uh, be in her werewolf form at all times without like rampaging. And the way to do that is to have her go into a fury-induced rampage. And oh my god, her werewolf form is sick. Hold up. She's a white wolf. That's dope. Okay, so instead of doing that, you just have if you have UI cheats, you can um, right click on the enraged moodlet and it'll go away. And then she'll be back to normal. And then you should get the ability, the dormant ability. Right, Paisley has learned how to transform at will. Fantastic, I love it. So, let's get her to <laughs> transform. And now she's just a normal werewolf without being super angry. <laughs> she's really hungry though. She needs the ability to hunt. I'm gonna chew her, her to an apex. I'm gonna get her... Let's see, where's the hunter? There it is. So I don't know how to hunt. We want food to be fresh, but werewolves want it fresher. Wherever she is, Paisley will be able to hunt for food out in nature's buffet and grab a bite whenever hunger strikes. She's about to eat a salad. No, darling, no. Let's go, let's go over there into the wilderness. I don't see the option to hunt. Oh, here we go, hunt for food. I haven't seen this um, yet. Oh, it's a rabbit hole. Okay. Well, that's just great. Is her hunger gonna go up automatically? Or is she gonna come back with meat in her inventory? Stay tuned. She's back. Paisley has returned with some fresh meat she found. Ah. All right, let's eat it. Ah, yes, the meat sandwich. Her wolf form is a little funky, I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool that she's a white wolf though, but like, it could have been better. All right, so now that they're both, what is this? What the? There was a heart next to, hip bump, hip bump? You can hip bump the freaking punching bag as a flirty thing? Dang it, it's not an option anymore. Oh man, that makes me sad. Challenge to tug of war? What does this look like? Ha! Oh my god! 
Sorry. It's it was so short. How wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Has Paisley found her faded werewolf mate? Every werewolf has one true love destined by the moon. I'm sorry. It doesn't look like there's any like special things that we can do, but let's ask him to be our boyfriend and see if anything unlocks after that. All right. Another thing that I wanted to do actually was now that they're both werewolves, I'm gonna have them uh, try for another baby and then, cause I really wanna see the, the wolf bassinet in use. And I wanna hear the baby howl when it cries, cause I'm pretty sure that's a thing. And I want you guys to see it too. I wanna explore all aspects of this pack and just like all of the things that happen when you have a baby. That is the whole point of this series, you know what I mean? You pregnant? I also really wanna see what a werewolf looks like while pregnant, I think it'd be funny. The little belly. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh, she's got a belly. Well, we're having another <laughs> child. <laughs> what is moon bathe? What the heck is that? Oh, okay. She just like lays there on the ground and just like, so it's like sunbathing, but with the moon? That's pretty silly. I woohooed a werewolf and I do it again to crazy girl. It would actually be hilarious if her hygiene went up from that. All right, she got a moodlet from it though. Wolf shine, bathing beneath the moon's light can lift spirits just as much as barking as barking at it does. Okay, so she got energized from that. Nice. All right, love, let's pop you into labor. All right, babes, let's uh, come over here, have the baby, and listen to it howl while it cries. <laughs> it's a boy. Huh. Conan? Conan means wolf in Irish. <laughs> Let's do Conan. Every time I hear that name, I just think of crazy, stupid love and how he looks like a carrot. <laughs> Let's hear it. For once, I want the baby to cry. That's crazy. Who would have thought? I guess it was a... I guess it was a lie, because I don't hear it. Oh, look at this, um, look at this moodlet, guys. New fang pain from being a small werewolf. Jacob isn't bellyaching, it just really, it really hurts. That's so cute. I wonder if, uh, I'm gonna get the toddlers to age up. Hey, Excuse me. Why are you peeing right there? You're cooking a cake. That's foul. That is absolutely disgusting. Peeing while making your child's birthday cake. That's crazy. All right, okay. little wolfy birthday here. All right, Jacob. Klepto, we got a klepto werewolf on our hands. I don't think children can do anything with their werewolf stuff. Okay, yeah, you could still <laughs> teach your children um, to like howl as well. Uh, okay, we got a geek for Tala. Bunch of cuties, I, I reckon. Oh shoot, you guys, look. Dormant wolf from having werewolf lineage. The wolf sleeps soundly within Jacob. What would it take to awaken it? Oh, well now I gotta know. I must know. They both got the dormant wolf trait. That's odd because I I changed them to... I changed them to be a cult. I wonder why it still says dormant wolf. That's interesting though. That's very interesting. I know that they can't change into a wolf until they're teens. I'm gonna go ahead and make them teens really quick and see what happens. Very interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. He's a klepto and he's frugal. Okay, fantastic. So he just really does not like spending money, so he's gonna steal or save <gasps> any chance he gets. Okay, so he is a werewolf, but he still has the dormant wolf trait. 
Okay, I removed the werewolf trait from, from Jacob. Cause I really want to explore this um, dormant wolf thing. I'm gonna look it up really quick and see what we have to do. Werewolves have unique, wait, hold on. Um, if a child is born with two werewolf parents, the child could inherit lycanthropy in three different ways. They could become a regular werewolf, a greater blood werewolf, or a dormant werewolf in which they will carry the werewolf gene. The dormant werewolf gene can later activate their lycanthropy by swimming in the lake within Moonwood Mill under a full moon. Okay. Well, let's freaking do that, shall we? So I think you can change the moon options in game options. We did it when we were playing earlier. Um, so let's do two days, set permanent phase, uh, full moon, apply. I'm gonna change the time. Okay, it's 11 p.m. right now. Oh shoot, the bills. Someone pay the bills! Oh crap, guys. Check this out. The pack has noticed that Lou hasn't been adequately fulfilling the expand and explore value. If this behavior continues or he receives additional warnings, Lou will be put on pack probation? Holy moly. Also, Lou is on pack probation. <gasps> it's become clear to the leader that warnings alone aren't enough to keep him in line with the pack's values. Lou must resolve all current value warnings if he wants to avoid further discipline. Oh my goodness. I didn't know you get kicked out of your pack. Crazy, 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 crazy. All right, so since it's a full moon, oh my God, what is this mood lit? Beastly presence from being near a transformed werewolf. <laughs> Okay, is this the lake? How do you, where do you swim? Where do you swim? Where's the lake? I'm assuming this is it. We're about to witness history here, guys. Honestly, how would anyone figure this out without looking it up? <laughs> For real though. This is actually really nice, really calming. There's like sparkles. Is that like a hint maybe? Or maybe like the lore in the game that you figure out is how you do it. It is a full moon, right? Oh crap, it's not. It says it is on the calendar. All right, it says, says full moon now. All right, okay. So look at it on a full moon. It's very sparkly now. Super duper sparkly. So pretty. All right, he's got a couple of moodlets. Alluring Lunar Lake from swimming under a full moon. There's something mysterious and magical about swimming in a lake. Feeling great, relaxing swim, okay. Oh my God! Oh my God! You guys! Yes, our da our freaking son just got taken away from social services. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. We kind of just had it to um to see a pregnant werewolf for one and two, see if the babies howl, which they don't. It's okay. It's okay. I'm doing a lot of like time jumping and cheating right now. I'm not surprised. It's okay. But holy crap. You guys just saw Jacob run in his human form. He was furying as a human form out of the lake onto the deck and he transformed. So he's officially a werewolf now. Ooh. Oh, so you, you could swim. You could swim as a fury werewolf. That's kind of cool. Oh, Jeep, of course, too. I think that's pretty freaking cool that uh, if you're if you're half werewolf and you're not born a werewolf, you can awaken your dormant abilities by swimming in that beautiful lake on a full moon. Oh my God! Look, zoomies. <laughs> that. That is hilarious. If you guys want to add this into your official challenge for the skills, I think that, let's see, which skills would make sense for a werewolf? Maybe you don't have to do a skill. 
Maybe you have to, there's only five ranks, as you can see. Pup, Runt, Prime, Veteran, and Apex. I have never had a werewolf like organically reach Apex. I've always just cheated it, so I'm not sure how hard it is. Maybe uh, just a veteran. Let's do veteran rank four. So your werewolf babies need to be rank four before you can move them out. If they're not born a wolf, then you're gonna have to turn them just the way I did um, in the lake and then get them to rank four and then you'll be able to move them out. Well guys, I think that is everything. I think we covered all the bases. If you guys know any fun things that werewolf babies can do or any fun like romancy type things that werewolves can do, leave it in the comments. I would love to know. This is just a very quick speed run just to show you guys like what is possible when like doing romance type stuff and having babies like half werewolf babies full werewolf babies etc etc <laughs> i hope that you guys enjoyed this episode if there are any other occults coming out for the sims 4 you already know i will make a video for it don't you worry about that i think i'm gonna keep doing these videos um forever when the sims 5 comes out we'll do mystical motherhood uh sims 5 edition i don't know if there's gonna be any occults when it first comes out but i'm sure there will be some in the future so yeah, I'm really excited about that, actually. I'm excited to see, like, how different it's going to be. But yes, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe, join the family. And if you would like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Awoo!